Hey, Magic fans, we're back again. This is your captain speaking here on Catholic Lives MTG. Uh, we're opening our third case um, of Thunder Junction, and boy, that's that those levels all messed up. And um, I just cannot believe the hits that we are getting. It's really just bananas. B a n a n a. Anyway. It's crazy. Um, but before I get into how crazy it is, don't... Wow, start off with a sign card. Very nice. Is that ex Path to Exile? Yep. Sweet. Called it. Uh, before I get into it, don't forget, comment... Bristle Billy. Try to have a conversation, like not hit a mythic. Um, don't forget, comment, like, subscribe. It's free. Keeps us sponsor free. Uh, unless you're ShamWow. I'll get that out there. It's that, that disclaimer. Um, but also, mythic number two. Uh, supports the channel and we get to a thousand subscribers we are going to have some cool giveaways streamed live so you can all see who who and what is winning what what <laughs> sorry too much caffeine because this has just been a thing um, links in the description all these cards will be on sale on my ebay tcg player store don't forget to hit that up uh, there's also bonuses in there as well if you're a regular customer uh, I do send out coupons every now and then. Um, same thing you can get if you go on to Patreon, which is in the description. You get monthly coupons, so everything is cheaper for you. Um, helps me generate sales, clear things out, all that good jazz. Anyway, point being, let's talk about Thunder Junction some more. Um, the set's insane. Um, just talking earlier about all the mythics and what have you. Um, like I said, this is the third case of play boosters that I opened. Um, I didn't think I was going to go this deep. Crimestone. Walker Helm. Third Mythic. Oh, three Mythic packs. See, that is what I'm talking about. Like, how can you not like opening this product when you can get up to three Mythics in a pack? It's almost like a cheaper version of Collectors. It is insane how good some of these packs can be. Um, like I said, this is the third case I have opened, so we'll really get a good uh, lieu of, ooh, foil rare, nice, the law law of large numbers um, inside these sets. Uh, I mean, I'm not opening hundreds, but I, I mean, this is going to be 18 boxes, and that's a pretty good size compared, most people don't go that deep anymore. Um, <laughs> giggity, that's what she said. Um, so yeah, very interesting. Nice foil. Um, frog time. Mythic number six. So, yeah, like, why not open a third case? The pulls are just too good not to. Uh, and I, I really wanted to see if I just got lucky twice. If that makes sense. Ooh, a tiny bone. There's a good 20 bucks. Um... With that being said, um, this case, unlike my previous two cases, is actually better, that's a good rare, it's about three or four bucks, than my first two cases so far. And uh, if you were around for the first two cases, um, you know how good they were. Why is that up there? Um, they were insanely good. And I'm here to tell you, this case is starting off way better by a very large stretch of the imagination a little foil sphinx sphinx oh two mythics wow foil rare two mythics one of them being the 20 bucks jace another rare like see what I mean like it's I was sitting there thinking about this box I'm like wow this must be the one of the weaker boxes uh, in this case because the first two are really strong and then that happens and you get Tons of mythic pulls. Um, and you catch right back up to where you would be with the other boxes. This is this is quite the set. And um, I don't really know how to take that as far as... Um, I said this before. I think the, either they fixed track printing or they, they fucked it up good. One of the two. I don't know which. 
Um, but yeah, is Nexus of Becoming, Blooming Mars, Sweet Lord in the Heavens. Um, yeah, there's so much going on here. That, and it's all the good stuff. Like, there's nothing going on here that is wrong or feels bad. It's all good all the time. And I'm just blown away by by this set. It's... I mean, I don't think I need to open a fourth case. But I'm here to tell you, like... It wouldn't hurt my feelings. Just, uh... Putting that out there. Um... Yeah, and as I mentioned before, with the collector boosters... If, uh... If this set goes down... A significant amount. I think I'm all in. Um, I think this is a set worth investing in. <clears throat> Ooh, no, that's our second manager in this case. One in the first box, one in the third. Holy shit! See what I mean? Like this, these boxes, so much potential. Holy cow, it's good. It's so good. Like I don't even. I don't even know where to start half the time when we have these conversations because, like, things like that happen. Um, man. So, you know what this really feels like to me? Oh, hi there, little fella. How you doing? Take you to Taco Bell. Um, this feels like what Strixhaven should have been. Now, I'm not saying Strixhaven was bad, even though it, it, it was. But I feel like, ooh, there's a foil bedevil. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Um, I feel like this is the kind of response they wanted for Strixhaven. And they didn't get it. And, and a lot of that reason was, as powerful as Strixhaven seemed, it did not play as strong as it actually... It didn't play as strong as people thought it would. So it didn't see a whole lot of action. Uh, causing a lot of the cards to lose value and the set to be very unpopular uh, for a lot of reasons. Rest in peace. You believe that thing's a dollar? Like seriously, is that where we're at in my life? Am I? Have I been around so long that rest in peace is now a dollar? That thing used to be like twenty. What, twenty-five bucks at one point? Was it even more than that? Jesus Christ! God, I feel old. Um. Anyway, but yeah, like this feels like a fixed Strixhaven set. Um, I just wonder, are we going to be able to have more sets like this with all these bonus material and cards? Um, or have they printed, printed the ability to do it into oblivion? Not the cards themselves. There are some good cards, but how long can we do this with all these cool reprints before, um, we lose all the value to those cards? Does that make sense? I guess. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah, I just, uh, it's just amazing. So good. All right, five packs left. We did not take off running with the Mythics. We have thir lucky 13. So, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like we're going to get to uh, 20 Mythics like we have in the last two boxes. As absurd as that sounds, there's the one. Um, but yeah, um, Value-wise, um, the price of this case, I think, is going to be more expensive at a lower card value uh, than my first cases I did when the card prices were higher. If that makes sense to you. Um, never thought I would say that, that I would open a case that would be more expensive after the release of the product. But here we are, another Mythic. Keep throwing those mythics up there. We might actually get there. Two packs left. Twelve or at fourteen mythics. Mm. Good three mythic pack, maybe. Get us get a good run for it. Oh, nope. That's a bad way to start. I'm not gonna get there. That's okay. I mean, can we really bitch with the first two boxes of this case? I mean, they were just insanely good. I don't I don't know how else to say it. Like just insanely good. The devil, land, two rares, yeah, whatever. Um, I mean, we got a mana drain, like, mana drain, tiny bones. I mean, bristle, billy, generous plunder, like, so much good stuff. Uh, woo, Jace. It's just value. There's, the product's worth the money. I just don't know what to say. 
Yeah, it's insane. Till next time, be kind. Hope to see you across from the game table. Later, player.